The Champions League is back to life. Are you ready to witness history? Let's discover how Real Madrid is having chance to win their 15th Champions League this season. So before proceeding, kindly subscribe to us and let's get started. We all know that there is no better love story than Real Madrid and the Champions League. So let's see when this all started. In 1956, Real Madrid won their first Champions League trophy and then went on winning first five editions of tournaments in a row. From 1956 to 1966, Real Madrid won six UCLs and reached final eight times. Unbelievable, right? Despite winning so many UCLs, what motivates this team? The factor is winning mentality. Although Madrid had a legendary players in the squad, their project believes in rotations, that is passing a legacy to the young talents. Real Madrid doesn't play finals, they win them. From 2014, they played 18 finals out of which 16 they have won. So the record speaks itself about the strong Galacticos mentality. And looking at the squad, it resembles like it will continue in upcoming years as well. Real Madrid now have their superstar leader that is Jude Bellingham. Project already started to unite players around him. So this group of new young talents are highly motivated to win the UCL not only for themselves but their new superstar which will win his first major trophy in his career. Madrid competes and wins competitions not only because of the best squad, best coach or the best transfers but due to the proper vision and planning towards season. They plan in such a way that irrespective of injury they put their squad in the best form in the knockouts or at the end of the season when it matters most. Recently Real Madrid beat Manchester City in quarterfinals with the intense penalty shootout. In that match we have seen Madrid came with a master plan and follow the same throughout the game. They shown the best display of defense and seized the chances of scoring when it mattered most. Ancelotti started this campaign with 4-4-2 instead of their regular 4-3-3 formation. After injury, he played Chomini and Kamavinga in the center of defense, whereas he gave chance to Lunin over Kepa. In last few matches, we witnessed that how important player Lunin is for Real Madrid, as he did 8 saves against Man City in 120 minutes, additionally saved two crucial penalties which led Real Madrid into the semi-finals. In semi-final first leg against Bayern Munich at Allianz Arena, Madrid pulled a crucial draw of 2-2. After the draw, Bayern knew that it will not be easy in second leg at Santiago Bernabeu. This season lost Blanco's backline and Lunin literally proved everyone that in any situation Madrid never dies. If we take a look at another side, PSG or Dortmund doesn't look so promising against the giant Real Madrid. If PSG makes into the final, then Madrid knows how to stop Mbappe and Dembele. In fact, the Madrid dressing room closely following Kylian for quite a while, so his skills are no surprise for the coach and defenders. Although it's too early to predict, but based on the stats and recent performance against Man City, Bayern and Barcelona, Madrid looks unbeatable. They're marching towards their 15th UCL trophy. Let's see if Pine can stop them in second leg or not. Do let us know your views in comment section. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe us and press the bell notification for latest updates. See you in next video.